You see the catch fart, Captain? Anything, Captain? Due north of here. Hold fast! The Randolph! up to. Sheet anchor to windward, Captain. You can be sure he's got something up his sleeve. On me now! Stay alert! It's a bloody armada. I knew he was up to something. And he's turned to fight us. We're in it now, Captain. So we fight, Mr. Faulkner. Board the Randolph. Sink the rest. coast has come to an end. <laughs> Is that why you hunted me? Because you thought me an enemy to the cause? <laughs> You're every bit the fool I was told. You brought pain and suffering upon innocent people for nothing but personal gain. Pain? Suffering? I set them free. Weeded out the dissenters and empowered the patriots. So what if I was named Admiral? 
the revolution needs one, and I was the best man for the job. The only man. If not for me, the Continental Navy would remain but a handful of rafts. For all your vision, you assassins are blind to the truth. Enough. Wait. Let the Randolph die with me. Don't take her as a prize. Please. Please. I want no quarter. Just to sink with my ship. I can't believe you mean to leave the Randolph. She's a mighty vessel, Captain, and what of Biddle? You show him mercy and the face of... I guess that's that, then. A tad overdramatic, if you ask me. Still, a waste of a formidable ship. How's about a cheer for the boys, then, eh? Victory for the Aquila! For her glory! Yeah! Hip, hip, hurrah! It is beautiful, old man. It is. I've found a painting for the space above the mantle. It's being held in New York. If you get a moment, I'd like you to pick it up for me. Certainly. Good. It may not be there, as the house where it was stored lay on the path of the Great Fire. If so, worry not. It would have burned had it not been here. Achilles will be pleased. I have the painting you sent me for. Would you like some help hanging it? Maybe not just yet. What is it, old man? Just an old painting. I have gathered that much. Why will you not open it? It is something close to me. Something that I can't bear to look at just yet. Perhaps someday I will muster up the courage to gaze upon it again. But not yet. Commander. Connor. Any word on Lee? Not yet. My apologies. I've been distracted. Supply caravans meant for the camp have gone missing. I suspect treachery. A traitor named Benjamin Church, recently released from prison, has vanished as well. The two events are surely related. What was his crime? He was caught sending letters to the Loyalists, detailing our troop strength. He claimed it was a scare tactic, that we might avoid war. A poor lie. I will find church for you. Why? What reason have you to help? Does it matter? 
as you wish. We've received reports of trouble along the southern road. Might be he's responsible. I suggest you begin your search there. Commander. I have failed them, Connor. Only look around to know my words are true. This revolution once seemed a righteous thing. Our cause, pure and just. We asked only for what all people deserve. Liberty, equality, and respect. The Empire should have embraced us. Instead, they pushed for war. A war, it seems, they are now destined to win. I dare to dream of better things. Behold what it has wrought. Such dark thoughts will cripple a man, but only if he lets them. Look again. Out there stand men and women determined to be free. Such a struggle is rarely easy and never without sacrifice. I have often asked myself a thousand times if I would not be happier back amongst my people, living a quieter, simpler life. But if I abandon my cause, if you abandon yours, Commander, who would take our places? And what would become of the people who rely upon us? It isn't right that they should suffer when I do not. If the ground must be their mattress, so too will it be mine. And what about the storm? If I can't take a stand against the snow, then there really is no hope for us. What news do you bring me? No news, Commander. I was merely curious how your assistants were faring. Without them, we would be lost. It's as simple as that. With Lafayette drilling our men, it's possible our next engagement will not be one-sided. Have you had the opportunity to meet Casimir Pulaski? I have not. Unfortunate. He's another of these soldiers we've hired from overseas. A Polish man capable of fighting on horseback, the likes of which I have never seen. I intend to name him Commander of the Horse. And when spring comes and the battles resume, the regulars will fear the charge of his Patriot cavalry. I look forward to that day, Commander. As do I, Connor. As do I. Ah, Connor. What do you think of my work thus far? The men are bolstered. Focused. It is good you have come. Ah, uh, you are too kind. Lord knows my journey was far from certain. The trials we suffered getting here were strange and many. I dressed as a woman, Connor, to evade British spies. Did you know that? I did not. As a woman, you say? It is the truth. King George had already stopped our crossing once in Bordeaux, threatening to seize my newly purchased ship, La Victoire, and arrest me. But I was born stubborn, and such a warning could not dissuade me. So we rode for Spain and bought passage aboard the ship there. George's spies had followed us every step of the way. Disguise was the only remaining option, mon dieu. No man can doubt your commitment, and you are invaluable to the cause. You did what you needed to do. <laughs> I am certain I would have done the same. <laughs> but of course you would. I expect nothing less. words wait a poor choice <clears throat> come to check up on church make sure he's stolen enough for your british brothers benjamin church is no brother of mine no more than the redcoats or their idiot king oh, i expected naivete but this the templars do not fight for the crown we seek the same as you boy freedom justice 
Independence. But, hmm? But what? Johnson, Pitcairn, Hickey. They sought to steal land, to sack towns, to murder George Washington. <sighs> Johnson sought to own the land, that we might keep it safe. Pitcairn aimed to encourage diplomacy, which you cocked up thoroughly enough to start a goddamn war. And Hickey? George Washington is a wretched leader. He's lost nearly every battle in which he's taken part. The man's racked with uncertainty and insecurity. Only look at Valley Forge to know my words are true. We're all better off without him. Look, much as I'd love to spar with you, Benjamin Church's mouth is as big as his ego. You clearly want the supplies he's stolen. I want him punished. Our interests are aligned. What do you propose? A truce. Perhaps... <clears throat> perhaps some time together might do us good. You are my son, after all, and might still be saved from your ignorance. I can kill you now, if you prefer. Excellent. Shall we be off? Do you even know where Benjamin Church has gone? I'm afraid not. I'd hoped to ambush him when he or one of his men returned here. It seems I'm too late. They've come and cleared the place out. I may be able to track him. There were rations inside the crates. Medical supplies and clothing as well. Snow has obscured the tracks, but enough remains that we can still follow. Just my look. Going to freeze to death if I don't get this fixed. Are you Ben Church's man? Well played. It was not wise to run. What do you want? Where is Benjamin Church? I don't know. We was riding for a cup just north of here. It's where we normally unload the cargo. Maybe you'll find him there. Enough of that. You did not have to kill him. Let's not waste time with all this pointless banter. Go catch up with the rest of Church's men. Infiltrate that camp of theirs and see what you can discover. And what about you? If you mind, just do as I ask. It was a good haul today. Saw a bit of gunpowder in those crates. We'll get extra for that. Bye, Church. Be pleased, and we'll be rich. <laughs> I almost feel bad for the Yanks, shivering and starving out there. It's a hard way to go. All they need to do is raise the white flag. They should have done that a long time ago. All this fight serves no purpose. The crown should win in the end. Thanking me when you hear what he's got planned.
About time you showed up. Listen here. Boss wants us to try something new tonight. A raid. No more convoys. We're to steal from the Yank camp itself. Valley Fool. That's right. You sure about this? It's not my business to be sure or not sure. I just do as Church asks. If you're so concerned, take it up with him. Is he here? <laughs> Of course not. Hiding in New York the last I heard, trying to keep a low profile. What on account of him not wanting to go back to jail and all. All right, I'm in. Look what we found. He was creeping around the camp all suspicious like. Must be a Yank spy. Ah, he's something else. Something special. Isn't that right, Haytham? Church told me all about you. And you should know better than this. <clears throat> Not really in a position to be making threats, are ya? Not yet. Unbelievable. 